Hello and welcome to EDLD 7300 Seminar and Doctoral Studies. Congratulations, you are about to embark on the official beginning of writing that doctoral dissertation. Philippians 3.14 I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. And for the last year and a half, you have been pressing on towards this goal of earning your doctorate degree. And now here is a goal within that goal of completing and writing the dissertation. And with Jesus, you can do this. The objective for this course is for you to complete writing chapters 1, 2, and 3 of your dissertation, as well as a draft of your IRB application and your proposal PowerPoint presentation. There are several resources for seminar and doctoral studies. The first is the required textbook by Lewinberg and Irby, the writing a successful thesis or dissertation, tips and strategies for students in the social and behavioral sciences. You will use this textbook in this course and in the following course, 7399. By now, you probably have a copy of the APA Publication Manual 7th Edition, but if you don't, please make sure and purchase one now. A very good resource for you is located in Blackboard. And when you open your Blackboard, on the left-hand side, go to Organizations, your ED Executive Leadership Student Community Organization is full of resources for writing the dissertation, but also just for information for the um, doctoral journey. In each module of this course, there are learning resources, which include additional resources as well as short videos. Probably the biggest resource for you in this course will be your dissertation chair. You will be required to have four contact meetings with your dissertation chair throughout the course. This is just an overview of all of the things that you will be doing as assignments in the course. Every online course begins with an attendance review and an introduction discussion board forum. You will have four discussion board forums scattered throughout the 16 weeks. You will be required to submit your city training certificate, an annotated bibliography, the chapter two funnel, outlines for chapter one and three, your drafts of chapters one, two, and three, as well as a draft proposal PowerPoint and your IRB application. Throughout the 16 week course, there will be four checkpoint forms that will document the contact you've had with your dissertation chair. These checkpoints are required and it requires you to have a minimum of one contact with your dissertation chair within the checkpoint, um, that particular checkpoint time frame. The contact with your dissertation chair may be face to face, um, online through Zoom or Teams or phone conference, but face to face, of course, would be best if at all possible. For an example, checkpoint one, as you can see here, is due in module five. You will discuss with your dissertation chair content and information you're working on in modules one through five. Checkpoint two, you will submit the form in module 10 and be talking to your dissertation chair about information in modules six through 10. The same for checkpoint three due in module 13 and checkpoint four due in module 16. There are four discussion board forums scattered throughout the 16 weeks. You will have the opportunity to share the progress with your, um, with your professor and with your other students in the class and your classmates will be able to support you and share um, in their responses and how they are doing on their dissertation. So the discussion board forums are really are a way in this particular course to support each other and to um, just discuss progress of your dissertation writing. 
By now, you should have completed city training in a previous course. So all that would be required is for you to submit your city training certificate. However, if for some reason you have not completed city training previously, there will be a link and information in the module that will require you to do that before you can submit the certificate. Your annotated bibliography assignment will be based on 20 peer-reviewed research articles. And I know for the last year and a half, you have most likely been collecting articles and saving them for when it finally comes time to officially start writing the dissertation. So those articles will be a great place for you to start and pull from in making your annotated bibliography. Your annotated bibliography will be the start of the research articles needed for your literature review in Chapter 2. When we talk about a funnel, imagine what a funnel looks like, how it's very large at the top and it gets smaller and smaller as you get to the bottom. That's what we want you to do with the information for your literature review you, and for the writing of your dissertation. You have this really big, large idea that we need to narrow down, narrow down, and narrow down. This approach to your Chapter 2 helps Chapter 2 just to be more organized, easier to um, put together, and it also helps define your research questions. In the module, there's more explanation and example of a Chapter 2 funnel, as well as in your textbook. While Chapter 2, you are required to provide a funnel to organize your thoughts and information, for Chapters 1 and 3, you will be providing an outline. Your outline topics and headings will be based on the information that's in your textbook on the headings for a Chapter 1 and a Chapter 3. You may also have some added information from your dissertation chair. The main goal of this entire course is for you to complete the writing of Chapter 1, your introduction, Chapter 2, your literature review, and Chapter 3, your methodology. Please make sure that you include all appropriate requirements and elements and headings for your chapters. You can find these in your um, textbook. You will also be working with your dissertation chair throughout this whole entire process, and the dissertation chair will also offer comments and feedback on information that they may also want in the dissertation writing. At the end of the course, you will be um, asked to submit a draft of the IRB application. Remember, this course is preparing you for the proposal of your research. You don't have permission to start research yet. All of this work is for a proposal to do the research. And the IRB application is the official proposal um, to the Institutional Review Board that will give you the official permission after you have a successful proposal before a committee. Then this set of paperwork goes to the IRB for review for the official OK to begin research. When you have finished writing chapters 1, 2, and 3, and your dissertation chair has given approval, you are ready for you to schedule your proposal. Your proposal will include you doing a presentation of information from chapters 1, 2, and 3 before your dissertation committee. Your dissertation committee is comprised of your chair and two committee members. We have just reviewed all of the assignments and expectations for the entire 16-week course, so let's get started. Checkpoint 1 are modules 1 through 5, and listed here are all of the things that you will be required to do for the next five weeks. In every checkpoint, in every module, there are resources. There are textbook resources, there are Blackboard resources, there are additional learning resources such as articles or short videos for you to watch. Please make sure that you do those for every module. Module 1, your course attendance review, your introduction discussion board, and discussion forum number 1. Module 2, 
work on the annotated bibliography, and submission of your city training certificate. Again, if you have not done city training prior to this course, you will need to complete the training before you can submit your completion certificate. Module three is discussion forum number two, and the annotated bibliography is due. At the same time, you are working on your chapter two funnel. In module four, your chapter two funnel is due and you'll be working on chapters one and three outline. In module five, chapters one and three outline is due as well as your checkpoint one form, which again is your documentation that you have had a minimum of one contact with your dissertation chair. One of the things I wanna point out to you is where the modules say you're working on an assignment and then it's due in a following module or a couple weeks later moving forward in a module. It is so important in this course that you do not wait until that the assignment is due before you begin working on it. In reality, there's no way that you could finish everything is due by just working on it um, on, in the module that it's due. So the course is designed that you're kind of doing more than one thing at a time. You're completing, your, for an example, you're completing the annotated bibliography, but you're also starting work on your chapter two funnel. You're completing the chapter two funnel, but you started work on chapters one and three outline. And so just please take note, you can move ahead in assignments, but do not drop behind. You will not be able to complete everything that is required for you to complete and move on in the dissertation writing process if you don't meet the deadlines. Now, listening to this introduction um, little video may be having you feeling overwhelmed but you can do this. You have hung in this program so far, you are halfway done, and you can see the finish line. So good luck with writing, good luck with your research for your dissertation proposal. I know you can do this and always keep in mind Luke 137, nothing will be impossible with God. <music>